Leaving any faith can be challenging, uh, depending on what that faith provides you and, and how they treat dissent. In the case of Islam, dissenters are punished fairly heavily and usually through social means, um, which is an extremely effective way to get people uh, to fall in line and to stay in line. Because even if you know you leave, you feel one way towards an ideology. Maybe you're very attached to an ideology, and then you can walk away from it with some distance. But the people in your lives, you know, in your life, your your mother, your father, your your community that you've grown up around, they stick with you. You know, and despite despite how you feel about religion or politics, you might you know have that orientation shift when it comes to an ideology but it's very hard to think about um, the ways in which you might be hurting the people you love the most and then in addition to that they're going to hurt you uh, depending on how they are themselves absorbing the news of, of your disaffiliation so sometimes in the case of ex-muslims that means abuse of various kinds often manipulative tactics, uh, you know, the sort of emotional manipulation, sometimes threats. So it can be a very painful thing for an individual to go through and sometimes it's life-threatening thing for an individual to go through. So, you know, and this is not something that I think is shared by every religion equally. Sometimes we can, we, you know, we as an ex-Muslims can best understand, you know, the, the trials and tribulations of people who are from ex-fundamentalist communities when it comes to like Christianity or Judaism. That seems to be a little bit more similar in terms of the extreme ends of, of what you might face.